This is a guide on how to make really good pumpkin bread and pumpkin muffins. If you're someone like me, you agreed to make something for Thanksgiving dinner and also forgot about it until that morning. So I made a pot of coffee, waited for the coffee to brew, called my mom and wished her a happy Thanksgiving, poured myself a cup of coffee, I took a sip of the coffee, and then I was ready to make the pumpkin bread. For this recipe, you'll need three and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one 15 ounce can of pumpkin, one and a half teaspoons of salt, three cups of white sugar, or brown sugar, we'll get to that later, one cup of vegetable oil, or canola oil, or olive oil, uh, we'll get to that later too, two teaspoons of baking soda, three bananas, or four eggs. Uh, some of the people at the Thanksgiving dinner I was going to uh, were vegan, so I decided to make this vegan. So this is a vegan recipe. Surprise! One teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one quarter teaspoon of ginger, and two thirds of a cup of water. For equipment for this recipe, you'll need two large mixing bowls, one nine inch by five inch loaf pan, one spatula, one whisk, one can opener, if, if your can doesn't have one of those little tabs, one cup for measuring, one third of a cup for measuring, one teaspoon for measuring, one half teaspoon for measuring, also one half of a cup for measuring, and one quarter teaspoon for measuring. One small, uh, I guess medium, uh, one medium sized bowl and a fork for mashing the bananas. Uh, one thing to note is that this is a double recipe. Uh, so you could either use two loaf pans or you could use a loaf pan and a uh, three by four uh, cupcake tin. Uh, that's what I did for this. You could also do, I guess you could do 24 cupcakes or two loaves. So to totally up to you. But just know that it is a double recipe. So if you're just going to make one, uh, one loaf of it, um, there will be a lot of extra batter. So yeah. Uh, instead of bananas, you could also use four eggs. Um, like I said, this is technically a vegan recipe. Uh, I have made it both ways with eggs and with bananas as substitute. And I personally, I think the way with bananas is better. Uh, it's a little bit sweeter and it feels a little bit denser when you're eating it as opposed to when you have it with the eggs. So, but again, it is your decision. As always, before we get started, make sure to wash those hands. In one of the large mixing bowls, you're gonna mix in most of the dry ingredients. Uh, you'll be mixing in the flour, the baking soda, the salt, the ground cinnamon, the nutmeg, uh, which I realized is pretty much my new favorite smell. Um, I don't know what it was before, but it, now it's nutmeg. Um, yeah, and the ginger. And then you're gonna take your whisk and mix it all together. Next, you're gonna take your three bananas and unpeel them and place them in a bowl and mash them up. Try your best to get rid of all the lumps in it. It's kind of impossible to get rid of all of them, but uh, try your best to get it to a nice consistent consistency. Next, use the can opener to open up the pumpkin and pour that in a separate mixing bowl. After you've added the pumpkin, add in the banana and the oil. Um, I kind of ran out of oil partway through this so I, I did top it off with a little olive oil that I stole from one of my roommates. Sorry. And it still tasted fine, so <laughs> if you want to use a weird mix of uh, vegetable oil and olive oil, that works. Or canola oil and olive oil, I guess. Then the two-thirds of a cup of water. And finally, the white sugar. And then realize that you didn't have enough sugar. Uh, try not to freak out. Um, don't panic. It'll, it'll, it'll work out. Don't, don't worry about it. Um, you have brown sugar. You can just use brown sugar instead. In, in most recipes, you can do a one-to-one -one replacement of brown sugar to uh, white sugar or vice versa. So that's what we're going to do. So in, in, this, in this batch of this recipe, I pretty much have one cup of white sugar and two cups of brown sugar. So you could do some weird combination of those or just do uh, all white sugar or all brown sugar or yeah. Or you could be more prepared and make sure you have enough ingredients before you start which is good advice for myself. And then start to mix up the wet ingredients and the sugar. Uh, get those all mixed up. Make sure they are a consistent consistency. And then start to add in the, uh, the flour and the other dry ingredients. Slowly but surely, 
and then realize that you made a big mistake of using the smaller bowl for this process and pour it all in the, into the bigger bowl and try not to make a mess doing so. And then yeah, just keep stirring, get it all consistent. Um, yeah, just make sure there's no weird pockets of flour or anything and just keep, keep stirring. Once everything's mixed together all consistently, uh, then you're going to want to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then using butter or oil, uh, I'm using vegan butter for this process, uh, you can grease the bottom of your bread pan. Uh, this just helps the bread to not stick when, you, when you're cooking it. And yeah, just get a nice even layer of that spread on the bottom of the bread pan. And do the same for the muffins as well. Then you can pour the batter into the bread pan. Uh, I filled it about, you want to do about two thirds to three quarters of the way full, um, just so it doesn't overflow. I think two, two thirds is the safe, safer way and three, three quarters is kind of living on the edge, but it's up to you. <laughs> and same with the muffins, fill, those, fill, fill each one up about two thirds or three quarters of the way. Then pop all that stuff right into the oven. Uh, I set a timer for 50 minutes uh, for the bread. The muffins were a little bit shorter. I think those ended up being about 20 minutes. So at around 20 minutes, you'll check the muffins to make sure that they are good. Uh, see if they need a little more time. If they do, maybe just add another two or three minutes. Use your best judgment. And then for the bread, I realized it was very un undercooked in the middle. So I, put, I ended up putting that in for about 10 extra minutes. So. In reality, the muffins are probably about 22 minutes, and the bread was about uh, 60, right about a full hour for the bread. So yeah. And for the batter, you can lick the spoon and you don't even have to worry about uh, eggs, because it's vegan. Um, and also I know that people, every time I say this about like licking the raw batter, people are like, it's not the eggs, it's the flour. Well, my mom said it's the eggs, so you're gonna are you gonna try and argue with my mom? Once everything's done and cooled off, make sure to give one of those muffins a try. Yep, they taste good. And uh, would you look at the time, you're late for dinner, so make sure to get over to that Thanksgiving dinner. And don't, don't forget to bring it with you. Shoot. This is a reference to last year, I made sugar cookies and completely forgot to bring them to the, the dinner, so yeah. Uh, also, I know in this recipe I said um, this is for Thanksgiving like five or six times and it is um, as of me posting this this will be a week after Thanksgiving so um, I started playing The Witcher again and I got really addicted to it um, but yeah so sorry if you wanted a new re recipe for thank you can save it for next year you could use it for uh, Thanksgiving next year so yeah or, or like any time during the year it's a good bread and muffins. So, bye everyone.